The biggest question regarding the Saints right now is who will be their starting quarterback in 2023? But not just 2023, for the future, who will be their next franchise quarterback? He's currently not on the roster and it's been a trouble for the Saints ever since Drew Brees retired. I mean, we've gone through five quarterbacks since retirement of Drew Brees. Jameis Winston started the 21, 2021 season, got injured, Trevor Simeon went in, then he got benched, Taysom Hill went in, then we had Jameis again, and then he had Ian Book for that one game, and then we had Andy Dalton. That's five quarterbacks that we've had since Drew Brees has retired in two seasons, and that's just not a very good number, and you know... The production from the quarterback room in general just hasn't been what we're accustomed to, especially since we had Drew Brees for about like 15 seasons. So who will be the Saints quarterback? Well, we won't know for sure who's the next franchise quarterback for the Saints until he's actually in the building or free agent or whatever. But I don't think the Saints will be getting their franchise guy this offseason unless they make a pretty trade or altering move or something like that. Um, they currently only have one quarterback under contract in Jameis Winston, and chances are he's going to be cut, traded, and go to the Colts or somewhere else. But who knows, maybe something changes. But it feels like that relationship between Jameis Winston and the Saints front office and coaching staff has kind of gone to shit ever since you know, he was basically benched the whole season after three games and dealing with injuries. So that's where we're at. We only have one quarterback under contract right now and that quarterback is probably not going to be on the team next season and you know we have Andy Dalton as probably a realistic option if the Saints you know can't find or get the guy they want in the building uh Andy Dalton's not under contract but I could see a realistic scenario where if the Saints don't get who they want they bring Andy Dalton back and then they get to go do a few things um that's where we're at so what are the options you know I mentioned Andy Dalton was, was, and personally, the best option out there in general is Derek Carr. A lot of people might not like it, but the Saints will be going from the 35th best quarterback in the NFL to a top 15 quarterback in Derek Carr. I went back and watched all of his games, all of his throws. He is a good quarterback. The team around him has never been that good. He's better than Jameis Winston. I think James's arm is better, but Derek Carr does the little things right. He'll throw it away. He'll take a sack. He'll dump it off. He won't throw turnovers. And Derek Carr can still go deep. He can still hit Rashid Shaheed, Chris Olave, if deep downfield if he wants to. He definitely likes dumping the ball off to running back. So, hence Alvin Kamara, maybe a new rookie running back, depending on how Alvin Kamara's court thing goes, suspensions and all that. So, honestly, Derek Carr... He would win us a few more games than we got last season. He He's a guy who will either win or lose you games. And I believe he's like 16th in all-time NFL history in comebacks. And everyone else above him has played, I think, 15-ish seasons. And he's on like year 10. So Derek Carr definitely has that clutch last quarter, last minute drive gene in him. And with the surrounding cast around him, in New Orleans, you know, if Michael Thomas stays to play with Derek Carr, Olave, Rashid Sheed, Alvin Kamara, probably going to get some other guys in there, Juwan. He could, this could be a pretty good team. Definitely a team that makes the playoffs. Whoever gets Derek Carr, if it's in the NFC South, will get Derek Carr. And whoever gets Derek Carr in the NFC South, the Saints get him. He's the top five quarterback in the NFC. And you might not make it to the Super Bowl, but I, you definitely make the playoffs. And I think you can win one playoff game. And that's why I think Derek Carr is the best option. Now, he's not. you might not think he's the best option out there, but let's look at the free agent quarterback market this offseason. And before I continue, have you checked to see if you're subscribed? Only 96% of my views come from people who are not subscribed to my channel. So please, it takes one second. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel. We're trying to hit 100 subs and keep this thing moving, get this thing rolling. So there's Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Jimmy G, who I guess could be a decent option, but you're going to be paying him a lot of money. And there's no guarantee he plays every game. Derek Carr, I believe, has only missed three games in his whole career. That's a positive for the Saints. You could look at Teddy Bridgewater. I don't think Daniel Jones leaves. Case Keenum, Mason Rudolph, Jacoby Brissett's an okay option. I doubt Geno Smith leaves. Joe Flacco, Andy Dalton. As you guys see on the screen, it is slim pickings. Lamar Jackson going to get franchise tagged. So chances of the Saints even getting him are low, even with the trade. So it 
slim pickings Derek Carr is the best available guy out there between all these guys as I'm recording this he's meeting with the Jets tonight and tomorrow he met with the Saints twice on his trip and visit with the Saints I still think the Saints have a good chance to get Derek Carr but you know there's also other ways too the Saints can get a quarterback they could do a trade for Lamar Jackson possibly I seriously though don't see a scenario where that happens but we'll see Aaron Rodgers I honestly don't want to see this because you're going to be giving up a lot of draft picks you're going to be paying him a lot of money to probably only play one or two seasons and the Saints are not really a quarterback away from winning a Super Bowl I'd stay away from Aaron Rodgers um, in the scenario where Aaron Rodgers isn't traded I'd look into Jordan Love if you can't get Derek Carr there's been rumors that Justin Fields might be available Definitely, you know, I really doubt the Saints will even have the compensation to even get Justin Fields. Other teams have a lot of better compensation. A lot of teams are calling about that number one overall pick, but it's just something you have to call about. And finally, a lot of people won't like this, but he's better than probably 80% of the free agents. Mitchell Trubisky, I think he is supposed to be cut by the Steelers, but we'll see if they don't cut him. He's someone I think the Saints could potentially call about for a trade. But outside of that, the only options left is to draft. And with the first pick, you know, or first round pick at 29, you're not going to be getting anyone good, really. Um, if you want to trade up, you're going to have to trade the house. And the only reason I would accept the Saints trading up, like trading everything to get a quarterback, is if CJ Stroud makes it past pick four. Because guess who else is going to be trying to get him? The Panthers, possibly the Bucks, possibly the Falcons. The Saints are going to have to trade up or something like that to get even in the vicinity of getting CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, maybe Will Levis. So I picked 29, you can maybe get Anthony Richardson, but you need someone to develop him. I don't think the Saints have anyone to develop him. So then you look at, okay, Hendon Hooker, maybe a second or third round, even that's a risk, but I think you take him and then you bring, and then you have a veteran quarterback, whether it's a Jimmy G, Andy Dalton, Derek Carr, whatever. I think if you want to get this next franchise guy or take a chance on it, you sign a veteran, you sign the guy that you want, trade for him, whatever, and you draft someone. And that's where we're at. This is why I think Derek Carr is the best option. He's the most realistic best option. And he'd fit the Saints pretty well. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like, comment down below who you think the Saints are going to get at quarterback. And I'll see you guys next time.